Hello everyone, in this video we will create a BIP report that will show us all the supplier details like supplier name, address and site for any business unit in Oracle ERP. So let's start. So we are in the Oracle Fusion homepage. Now I'll click on this navigator and go down. Now under the tools, you can see report and analytics. We'll click on that. Now I'll click on browse catalog. Now to create any BIP report, first of all, we have to create a data model and then we have to create the report. And the data model is nothing but the container of the SQL query that we have to write to get the supplier details. So for that, I'll click on the create option and here you can find data model. So I'll click on the data model. And now here you can see data set is already selected. I'll click on the plus icon to create a new data set. Then I'll click on the SQL query. So in this section, we have to write our SQL query. First of all, we'll prepare the query to get the supplier details. Now for better visibility, you can use Notepad or Notepad++ to write your query. And then you can copy that query and paste it in this section. And you can create your data model. So I'll open Notepad and I'll start writing my query. So to get the supplier details, first of all, the table that we use, that will be POZ suppliers. So you can see we have written select star from POZ suppliers. So I'll provide the alias name as PS and in this table we'll get the supplier number which is segment one of this table. So I'll provide the segment one as supplier number. Then we have to use another table which is HZ underscore parties. In HZ parties table we'll get the supplier name and I'll provide the alias name as HP. So we have to join these two table using the party ID column. So the join will be PS dot party ID equal to HP dot party ID. And as I said, we'll get the supplier name from this table and the supplier name column is party name. So I'll write HP dot party name. Then we have to get the supplier address name. And for that, the table is 8z underscore party sites. I'll provide the alias name as HPS. Now we'll join 8z parties and 8z party sites table using party ID. So I'll write the condition as HP dot party ID equal to HPS dot party ID. And the column that we'll get from this 8z party sites table is party site name. So I'll write HPS dot party site name and this is our address name and party name is supplier name now to get the full address like address line one two then city postal code state country we have to use one more table which is 8z underscore locations and we have to join this table with the party site table using the party site id so i'll write hps dot party site id equal to hl dot party site id and in the select i'll write hl dot address one to get the address line one then hl dot city hl dot postal code hl dot state and lastly hl dot country now to get the site details like site name we have to use the table poz supply sites all m so i'll write the table name and provide the ls name as pss now to join this table with 8z location i'll use hl dot location id equal to pss dot location id and from this table we'll get the site name which is vendor site code i'll provide the name as site name now any supplier site is directly linked with a particular business unit 
and in our query we want to pass the business unit as a parameter to get the supplier details of that particular business unit so for that i will add one more table where we will store the business unit and that is hr all organization units i'll provide the alias name as h a o u and to join i'll use the business unit id from the supplier sites all table which is prc bu id that is procurement business unit id and it will join with h a o u dot organization id and as i told you that we want to pass the business unit as parameter so i'll write h a u dot name which is organization name and here i'll provide a parameter using p underscore b u so basically using this parameter we want to get the supplier details for a particular business unit and i will also provide one nvl here why i am providing this because if we do not pass any business unit then p b u will be null and in that case it will take the h a o u dot name so the condition will be h o u dot name equal to h o u dot name that means it will be true and we will get the supplier details for all the business unit now i'll copy this query and paste it here now i'll provide the name as supplier query and choose the data source as application db underscore fscm now click on ok so we are getting one error in hl dot party site id we'll check this so party site id column is not available in hz locations so we have to join with location id so i'll provide as hl dot location id with hps dot location id now i'll copy this and paste it again now click on ok now here you can see it is trying to add one parameter which is p underscore bu that is for passing the business unit so i'll check this checkbox and click on ok now you can see the parameter is added where the data type is string and parameter type is text now under the data set i'll click on the supplier query and i'll go to the data tab now here you can see we are getting the option of passing the value of p underscore bu so i'll pass as us1 business unit now i'll click on view data now you can click on table view and see we are getting the data for us1 business unit so you can see under rows we can see five that means five rows will be displayed if we can update it to 200 that means 200 rows will be displayed now so now we are getting 200 lines and if you remove the parameter value and run the query then we will get the data for all the business unit you can add list of values for this parameter as well for that we have to go to the list of values option and here we can create a new list of values so i'll provide the name as business unit list and we'll get the business unit from a sql query so you can drag up this below section and here you can write your sql query so we want to get all the business unit so for that i'll write select name from then we have to provide the table name as hr all organization units so in this table we have all the business unit now we have to attach this list of values with our parameter so i'll go to the parameters and now in the parameter tab instead of text we'll select the menu again drag this up and now you can see the list of values business unit list is selected now we can go to the supplier query again and now in the p underscore bu parameters you can see we are getting the name of the business units so from here you can select any particular business unit now go to search and search with us1 and you can see us1 business unit is there move here and click on ok now you can see us1 business unit is selected and click on view to view the data we can see the data for us1 business unit now our data model is done now we have to save this data model so just after the create report you can find the save button so click on the save and here you have to choose any folder where you want to save your data model so i'll go to shared folder 
and under shared folders you can click on custom under the custom we'll save our data model but before that i will create a new folder in the custom folder here you can find the option to create a new folder i'll create a new folder as supplier details report now i'll click on ok and now under supplier details report i'll save this data model so i'll provide the name as supplier dm dm for data model now i'll click on ok so you can see it is saved now now i'll click on the catalog and you can see under shared folder custom supplier details report we have the data model now we can edit the data model if we want so just we have to click on the edit option so you can see but we will not edit this rather we will create the report based on this data model so we have to click on the create report option but before that we have to do one thing so i'll go to data and i'll click on the view and i'll click on save as sample data so this is mandatory before we create the report now i'll click on the create report option and you can see now this data model is selected so we'll use this data model now this entire page is not visible i'll click on control minus to see the below options so you can see next option is there we will click on this next option so in this screen you will find page options and different layout options so i'll use the default option and i'll click on next now here we have to drop the fields that we want in our report so i'll drop all the columns from our data model so it is done now i'll click on next i'll click on finish now you have to save the report so i'll save the report in the same folder so i'll just provide the name as supplier underscore report and i'll click on ok now you can see we are getting the report in pdf format now if you open the report from the catalog how we'll do that so i'll go to catalog you can see under the supplier details report folder we can see the report is there so if you want to edit this report you can click on the edit option and here you can see the option view a list so just click on the view a list so you can see the output formats are mentioned so currently these formats are selected you can select more formats if you want and now the default format is pdf that is why you can view the report in pdf format if you want to change the format you can do that so here i will click on the view report to view the report again now i will select a particular business unit which is france business unit now i will click on apply so we are getting the suppliers only for the france business unit now so this is how we can create the supplier details report in oracle erp so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video within your circle if you have any questions or any suggestion put that in the comment section and do subscribe our channel